Welcome back to Okay Fans, this is Shadow 33 once again with Sactoth and double check about Floris. I don't know if Floris is here. Well, Sactoth in any race is here. Flax Toth and Floris? <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm good. I've I've walked around yep. a bit, hasn't been to eat. I'm I'm a bit more lucid. That's the word I'm looking for. Anyway, we are starting the game. It is going to be Magman Finals, just point that out. Magman Cube versus Google Frog Aquanim. And we're going to be on Iced Coffee. So, one of your maps, one of my maps. Well, my only map, actually. But, yeah. So, Google Frog Acronym in the south side of the map. Gunship, Start, Shield, Start. This is going to be a calm nap game, I'm sure of it. Looks like from... Magman is talking about it, yeah. I mean, this is... This is actually the map that I saw with Cube that was... That was the one with the calm being dropped into another calm to make them both explode. I don't. I don't see um, Google Frog and Acronym going for a common app. I think they're too. They're too fancy and too proud to go for such a banal strategy. But I think maybe something interesting. Well, they definitely have the gunship like, factory, like so they have the potential. They might drop huh. roaches or um, outlaws. Yeah, the... Anyway. Bookspot, gunship plant. Well, why is this? Wait, why are they? Why are they? The, the streams going? Yeah, it's. I think they paused for the stream. Oh. We're good. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I mean, thank you guys for pausing for me. I really appreciate that. But sorry for the people who are watching the stream that there was a miscommunication. Oh, actually, you should probably point out. Hey, by the way, is finals? Is finals? Yep. yep. <laughs> Finally, but um, we see a vindicator coming out, so yeah, we can expect some common nap shenanigans of some sort while it's a just a brawler rush for Aquanim. Oh. Well, how but a nap to scout, which is very clever. Yeah, well... Oh, yep, Vindicator first. Oh, whoa. Nat coming in. Nice, fake out. I like it. The fake out the Nat, I mean, that's throw off Cube. Made me think, oh crap, they're going for a common nap too. What are we going to do? Nope. Brawler Rush. Yeah. But they don't know that. I like it. Yeah, I think the, this should work really well. Um, the scout, the early Nat snap, scout, it's hard to scout with land units on this map. So scouting with a Nat, they know exactly what's coming. They know it's a common Nat. They saw the Vindicator mm -hmm. and they can prepare. And they are preparing a... They're also morphing their commanders, which is interesting to do. preparing a nest of defenders. Wait, why Yeah, it's more interesting to do now? that. I guess that helps? Yeah. When, the, when there's a threat of a common Nat, I don't see why you'd put more money in your commander. I think you'd... You'd finish out the baller? Yeah, so would I, but maybe they're thinking more health means more survivability. Or it takes heart it's harder to be stunned. I don't know, not that, not by that much, so I don't really see the point. But that is definitely happening and Yeah. Well, Vindicator's down, definitely so definitely not happening. Yeah. Now we're gonna be playing zero K. Right, they did it for double light particle beams, um, because there's extra range on the light particle beam. It makes him very good against for sniping out. Nats, ah. snuffing out Vindicators, things like that. You can tell they know exactly, they saw that match, and they know exactly what they're doing. And no they kidding, because they went and had commanders prepped for Oh, admittedly, having a couple strike comms that are prepped with dual par uh, with Particle Beam is not that hard. Like, particle Beam is a very popular weapon, but still. Skazi's saying to fix the wind counter. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. No, no, we're, we're on game four. Yeah, we just sort of started in game four. Why not? <laughs> or game three, rather. Yeah. Because, yeah, no, we. this is game one. It's going to be interesting. There's Nats coming in to stun this Brawler out. It's going to be interesting whether that's... Yeah, it's not going to work because there's there's Vandals uh, there to support it. We're seeing a lot of this sort of Brawler supported with um, Land AA, which I think is an interesting 2 vs 2 strategy. Yeah, well, it makes sense when you consider what your opponents can do. Although it's... I mean, it mostly came up in the intersection game. That was what was really big. Mm. And it was not, the, not just the intersection game because it was... Well, in the last game, it came up a decent amount. But, yeah, overall, it's... I, I know what you mean. It's definitely become a popular thing to do. Yeah, you can see the Nats trying to stun out the um, Brawler, but it's just not working. They're no, just and the Glaives won't even last. And the Bandit... Ooh, are they going to get rid of the Vandal? I don't... I think so. Yes, they will. They just get rid One of it. Sample. And down goes the last Glaive, but that... That still did the trick. It doesn't matter. He's relying on um, always got his blast wings now, Although, yeah, so the AA is not needed other than you know 
enough defenders to kill the blast wings. Well, this one and eight blast wings. Space. Yeah, that's going for that's going for it. The brawler is going no, to no, no, no. They're too low. <laughs> they fly along the ground. The brawler the is going to the highest watch in amusement <laughs> as it's it's one of the highest flying gunships in the game and. <laughs> Yeah, I probably had the camera angled wrong when I was showing that. Although it kind of had nice dramatic effect of, oh shoot, this is going to completely blow up the ground. There's now a yeah. nice new hole in my map. <laughs> that that was really poorly done. Yeah, I was expecting that they'd be uh -huh. using those blast wings to do a comm kill. I mean, seriously. Run around the. I don't think now. Side do a Equinem is, is returning the favor with his own uh, paralyzer drone. Ah, nice. And actually does kill the commander in the process over in the southeast side of the map. And from there, it looks like Magman is just going to take a lot of damage from this brawler. The brawler just killed uh, Agnad. Yeah. Yep, they can hit air. They have. um... Oh, wow. He's actually hiding behind the stuff there and can't get hit by the flak. But they actually have. Um, oh, this is a quick game for Google. Burn blow, down. which means their projectiles terminate at the target point rather than firing past the target point which is mm. good for it flak has that and what have you this means brawler can now hit air units basically yeah it's supposed to firing past them which is mm. good but in this case killing magman's commander not so useful but yeah definitely the nats but yeah this is this is game i don't really see any way that magman can get out of this you can see that google acronym they had Spent a lot of time thinking about this match up. They've had some time watching the bronze match. They thought a lot about, you know, is there going to be a com nap, ma nap on this map? You know, that that's sort of popular. Yeah, that um, usually happens here. And exactly what they can do, which will have the best success versus multiple strategies. And the thing is, I don't know they about planet for, Magman also. necessarily. I think Magman was here, but definitely Cube has been practicing com naps on this map. Like, I casted mm -hmm. one of those com nap games on Tuesday as sort of a promotional for this, and there was. There were more Comnav games that were done. Like, they've been practicing this Comnav strategy, and I mean, Cube is known for his Comnavs, so I'm not at all surprised that Google Frog and Acronym did this. I would have been surprised if anything else happened, honestly, because really, like, you kind of expect it, and then you, having the practice, knowing the practice has been going on on this map for this strategy, makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's. Uh, I QB did actually win that um, one versus one tournament, I think it was, yep. um, <clears throat> yeah. without comnapping when everyone expected him to. And you know, you're saying he's going to comnap, he's going to comnap. And I think that's one of his strengths is that he fakes people out uh, by doing these cheesy, weird strategies and doing them over and over again. And then when it's serious, he doesn't do them, which makes you prepare the wrong way. And I think playing that sort of meta play is actually really interesting. It is. So that, I don't think it was guaranteed. Nah. I really like that though. I like that sort of play. I like. I mean, it's. It's a little bit difficult to pull off because of the fact that you do have to rely on the fact that there is an established metagame and people kind of know you well enough. But in a competitive scene, that's definitely something that can happen. Just knowing what people think they know about you versus what you actually can do. And also being careful that when you're practicing the stuff that you're really practicing to be serious, that you aren't making it obvious that you're being serious and that it's actually how you're going to play. That's the other trick. Yeah, I think I'm... Um, uh... I think QB sort of, by going for the comnap, he, he was he was too confident, I think. Yeah. Uh, Google acronym, definitely prepared. Well, it's not the biggest deal. There's four more games. I mean, if necessary. Yeah. Oh, it's a best of five this time. Yeah, it's best of five. Cool. So, Magman and QB have plenty of chances to get back in. It's not it's not the end of the world. They're losing one game. I mean, even at this point, Magman's actually pulling out all the stops trying to get in here. QB can't do much. Pulling in some blast rings from time to time. So, definitely doing their part, but... Magman is trying their best to move forward. Yeah, Magman's comm is doing an excellent job, but he just got hit by a racketeer. With the racketeer there, as long as he has um, vision on it, because if he only has radar vision on it, it mm -hmm. won't necessarily hit. But he can keep that stunned. Uh, oh, the gremlin's not in range. He can get rid of that brawler, and that would at least be somewhat useful, but that's... That'd be a somewhat useful thing to do, but can't the warriors go down? And the brawler, however, will go down to... Well, yes, it will go down. However, so do all of the gremlins. All six of them. Down and dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Four of the six. At least Magnus Commander is not quite stunned out anymore. Vision was mostly lost. Ooh, nice jump. Ooh, nice jump to a blast wing. That was good coordination there. Yeah. But he's, he's, he's still 
Oh, he managed to come out of the um of the disarm, which is good, but yeah. he's still going to go down because he's still going to go down. Boom. I mean, that was a valiant effort nonetheless, but yeah, that wasn't really going to get anywhere. Or at least it was highly unlikely to get anywhere. I, I mean, if that warrior managed to get in, I suppose, and deal with the racketeer in the first place, then it might have been possible to push through. But we are going on to game two with Magman Cube having lost game one. So, yeah. That is yeah, I think the answer to these these cheese openings, including a Raven opening and a um and any gunship opening, is lots of defenders in your base. And while it's sort of like, oh, defender and defender spam is counter for everything, it's a safe start. It's good against ground. It's good against air. It would be a shame if the counter to it was rushing an AA unit because then you get these situations where he rushes an AA unit and it's actually not that strategy. And if you don't rush an AA unit, you lose, you know. So yeah. uh, you, can, you can make a lot of defenders sort of blind and then you scout it. And if he's using a common up or, or a Raven strategy, you make more defenders. So, you know, you're not behind. So I don't think it's too bad. Maybe this is why we haven't seen more gunship and plane starts, or maybe it's maybe it's just the meta game. Well, at any rate, move on to game two, which will I don't know what map's gonna be on. Banana Dunes. Never heard of that one. Yeah. I don't think it's um, featured. Kind of just put that out there. It's not I can't even find it when looking for it. I don't know. They're. I'm trying to think what the banana is replacing. Sorry, they're just picking the next map, but right now, Cube and Magman are just completely going silly. Uh, banana Valley is a. Yeah, it's a 20 by 8, so it's like a hyper long icy run. It's like Long Cat. Oh. It's not that bad. It's 20 by 8, but it's still a very long map. <laughs> map. Well, the it's Nano an Valley. interesting map, actually. That's it's not the one it I... is featured. Well, whatever. We're playing Ravaged, so something sensible. Okay, good. That was that was a close call. <laughs> we, almost had, we almost had the, the poor and... Rather misrepresented sibling of Icy Run Long, which is already the abandoned child of Icy Run. Well, anyway, getting on to that as soon as the players start the game. Icy Long Run is 24 um, by 4. It's not as Twenty by eight is not as bad. It's quite that bad. That's true, isn't it? It's like it's like a it's like a duo long IC run. Yeah, I can see that. Actually, it would be still really long, but I could see that working conceptually. Barely. I but Loris, I think. Yeah. Did you just blow in your mic? I think I did. Okay. <laughs> just checking. Yes, just checking. I don't know. You haven't filled in your blown your mic quota for this game yet. <laughs> Actually, I haven't been talking, but you have filled it now, so you're good. Cool. Yeah. Right. So we're on Ravaged, and we have, once again, four players, which is very convenient. Two of which on each team, and two of those players, if I Google for an acronym, are starting over in the southwest side of the map. For some reason, I am their enemy. And Magman and Cuba starting on the northeast side of the map. Not sure what they're doing yet, though. No real discussion of strategy so far. But on this map, we'll have air. I realize it's been said I, before. I think that's... It, it's possible, but after the last game... um. And after the way the meta's been going, maybe, maybe they won't. Oh, maybe. I mean, there's. I I really expected air in most of these games, but that's I expected that at the last 
2 versus 2 tournament too. Well, Magman wants to go jump because... Actually, this is a really good map for jump, so I could say, yeah. Totally see that. I think most of the factories actually work. Yeah? Oh, yeah, this is a great map for everything. It's just... Except hovers. I think don't... I haven't really found any use for those here. I think hovers on this map work pretty much only on the strength of them as vehicles. Kind of the same way as, say, Red Comet. And I still think vehicles are better than hovers here. Because of yeah, the slashers and forces. Mm, yeah, right. Yeah, That's also I mean. hovercraft, they don't have uh, as much versatility. They're not as good as in, cho in choke points. Whereas um, vehicles have a lot of things they can do with choke points. They have, you know... Um, Levelers and slashes and and a lot of more defensive units and things. Okay. Whereas so everything but hovercrafts, but hovercraft. still, that's really impressive. Uh, please, you can you can uh, build hovercraft here. What I do not want to see is uh, any shenanigans on the outer rim of the map, the water. <laughs> water, yeah. So we do see a gunship start yeah. from Aquanim. Okay, so there is some air gunship and cloaky for Aquanim and Google Frog with shield bot and jump bot from Cuba and Magman. But I still think jump bots. I find that everything. But nearly everything works in this map does mean jump box work especially well in this map and there's a really nice rush you can do which it's got out encounter fairly easily but it's still a nice rush you can do it looks like blast wing rush coming in I don't know we might see some shenanigans along the side with blast wings hanging out right on the coast here because I've seen it before where they just hang out you can this just for scouting okay maybe I, I used to do that I used to do blast wing rush all oh, the time I mean that was it, was it was my strategy on this map but Blast Wing was nerfed, and it's it's not quite as strong as it used to be. It might work in a 2 versus 2, though, where you have another Lion Factory to go, and you have a lot more economic targets to take out. Yeah. Because presumably, I mean, you can look how much wind there is. I mean, one Blast, Blast Wing, Wing would take out all these really, three really well here. Like, any... There's not a single... Kubi made a roach in advance. That's quite interesting. Huh. Two roaches. Yeah, what? maybe he's going a really economic-focused build, and he doesn't want to be rushed. Well, maybe see. our roach is all terrain, just like ticks. No, no, uh, no, no. He's going vandals. No, look at. Sorry, chocolate. He's going vandals. <laughs> he has. I mean, it's pretty clear here. He has the. The roach here probably for, just for defense, just in case the factory gets attacked directly. And yeah. the vandals for actually dealing with the gunships coming in. Yeah. I think that's probably... I mean, um, the pyros are taking care of ground defense, but... Yeah. Still, watch that. This, um, there's a tick on these ridges. You can see that he's expecting this pyro jump along the um, south side. Mm. You see that, see that um, uh, the pyros are coming in here. And he's already got ticks in place to, to slant it out, so he can clean it up with his commander. A little bit surprised there are yeah, no Yeah, it should have been though. an LT, though. I think that's a mistake with the defender. Yeah, you need an LT to deal with the pyros. Like, I, I think the commander should be enough. Well, if it's stunned, yeah. Which oh one of them isn't oh that that's a okay. yeah nat nat there but but still oh it was oh hey why is the stun time so small because uh, it didn't get actually stunned by the the tick it took a lot of damage but it was the nat that oh okay finished off. yeah nat finished off oh, still, I see. still worked but an LT would have been really handy yeah he he ha he took some losses really if he'd just built an LT there like two LLTs along that ridge any pirates trying to jump over that ridge would or even just some defenders. Any pirates trying to jump on that ridge would have to face out the um, the commander anyway. So probably the ticks there is a bit of a waste, losing both of them to just two pirates. Mm. Yeah, but a tick uh, is a good trade for a pyro. Oh, Aquanum. Yeah, I think uh, they're oh, okay. going a yeah, bit overboard no, 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 on no, the left air, by the way. They are doing a warrior drop from the looks of it. Some Valkyrie right. being sent over. Yeah, this again, not a warrior drop. No, let's say a conjurer drop. Oh, Probably come on, don't waste those. Yeah, Ooh. Google Frog's wasting his glaives in the middle. Yeah, trying to get oh, he might. his commander no. though. It's a good, it's a good idea, but it has jump. So yeah, it was any other. He should have taken out. He should have taken out the defenders. Actually, what is the Valkyrie being used for? No, never mind. Apparently, it's not being used for conjurers being carted around the map easily. Did, did it drop the conjurer on the left side of the map there? Is that no? It, it just it got hit before. Yeah, it, okay, now it is dropping to the southeast. I was actually right. Yeah, getting that looks like getting the geothermal plant as quickly as possible. While well, centering the map, we have brawlers coming in here for Aquanim, which oh, one of them goes down actually. No, no, Banshee goes down. Not so bad. Heavy investment in AA like that is, you know, over one k. Yeah. In ATA and there. the Vandals. Yeah, and that's not even counting the Razor, the Vandals and the um, Archangel. Oh right. I think given there are Pyros at this point, if 
back when him just assisted Google Frog's factory and spammed um, Zeus's down the middle of the map, given that they're taking they're taking the sides of the with the economy, mm -hmm. um, it would be really strong right now if they sort of switch to land. They don't even need a bit of second factory. He could just turn off his factory and Aquanim. They're only producing eleven metal, so he can just assist Google's factory. Yeah, and oh wow, and power goes down for free too. I'm not sure what mm. they're trying to do with. They did take out um, the defenders. Yeah, and on the, the left southeast, side. Yeah, the defenders on the south. Yeah, on the left side. The, the west side's the out. The gone. southeast side, not so much. Actually, that's. I don't even think that Magman and Cuba have any. But he kept the constructor it. alive, so that's good. Yeah, on the left side, he, he just hid his constructor in the little thing. That's one of the real advantages of conjurers. Yeah. Is that um, their sneakiness. Which is nice to see you taken advantage of more often. That's that is good. Although you don't see the jammer taking advantage of all that often, I notice. Uh, it's really good when expanding um, into enemy radar, especially if there's if there's oh. uh, artillery yeah. there. You can actually move up, build a tower, and if you don't move the conjurer away, you can finish the tower, the defense tower, without it taking any artillery hits because it's jammed. Oh well, that that's cool. I mean, I've, oh, I've that's a waste of a, a uh, bot. Oh. Wow, yeah. okay, all the vandals going down the end. Might as well stick with air at this point. I mean, the A investment's pretty much yeah, stopped, indeed. too. Although, no, it's just, just five vandals, and there are still an archangel and five other vandals. Oh, okay, fair enough. They're doing the blast wing thing you see around the around the bottom? Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, Your yeah. Strategy. You're going around this. Yep, he needs right to, now the south side. Yeah, he needs to line them up. Oh, I hate just, this map uh, so he much. He needs to this. line move. He, he cannot punch them. If he punches them, it's going to be a total waste. Oh, no, no, perfect. Spread them out. Yeah. That's oh, exactly but see, Google right. Frog instructs him well. <laughs> yeah, Google Frog is actually drawing on the map right now exactly the lines to move them into oh. to do the custom formations on. Yeah, you oh, can't yeah, see no, I can't. I just turned it back on just to see for a sec. And wow. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Yeah. I mean, well done. That's only one, two, the like seven windmills. That's uh, barely worth it. Well,. Oh yeah, the metal. It's good. Thing. I think it, it, it stalls out the economy enough. I mean, okay, it didn't make cost exactly, but there are now only four wind generators on the entire map, which uh, and they had energy. retreated a lot of their stuff uh, to their base. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now he's doing a drop around around the left side. There's a warrior drop coming in. Nice. Uh, yeah. But there's, there's nothing that can actually so. shoot. He should drop on the very edge of the cliff because then that the the they spend the minimum amount of time possible. Um, actually above ground. Wait, but it worked out. But yeah. Oh boy, that was fine. Oh, but that roach. Oh, there's a roach. Oh, that roach is worth. That's Click exactly what I was doing in the first roach. place. Well, you know, not exactly, but he was, like I said, defending from ground because anti-air was going to be such a heavy investment. That was like the first unit he built. That was really good. Paid off. Cube is actually doing really well because he's expanding Cube and um, Magman. They've expanded with their comms a lot more aggressively. Um, Aquanim's commander hasn't even left the base, and Google f Frog are taking the low grounds. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, even though Google Frog has the side, it keeps being sides. It keeps being contested, and he's losing the right side right now. So yeah, although still at this point, Google Frog does have an economic advantage, sort of. Magman's doing okay, but a lot of the economy Magman has is fairly unsafe. Granted, they did take out Google Frog's expansion attempt over to the southeast, but a fair amount of money was pulled from there, so it's okay. I don't know. Yeah, um, Google Frog and Aquanim have a slight economic advantage at this point, but it's... Uh, nothing not worth yet. It's very even. Mm -hmm. But I, what I worry uh, about uh, is Shockingly that... lack of uh, regular units this uh, game. Yeah, there's... Especially uh, from worry... uh, Google Frog's team. Mm -hmm. Is that... Uh... They might Cubie and Magman have a much better position now. in the middle of the map. Oh. There's more blast wings I mean, I don't know. What's so wrong with that? Or unusual about that? I mean, pyros are also fairly useful. I mean... There's nothing to blast wing anymore. Yeah, there's nothing. That, it's, oh, it's the wind oh, I see. They're doing it again. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, they It's good to take out the maxes and things, but, but they didn't. Yeah, blast wings were nerfed and they didn't even take out the maxes. That was completely lost. No. Now we can see how a tick runs into a uh, shield wall. Yeah, no, it, there's too many um outlaws there. They can just There's these, these, these yeah, were three outlaws. Three. That's what that's the magic number. Three waves take out a tick. We discussed this earlier today. Now but it but, was moving up. 
Hell no. Yeah, that was that was not bad, but it didn't stun any of the outlaws that time. Uh, hopefully the brawler can get behind um, over the base where it can't be hit by AA. And yeah, no, it's good now. But um, yeah, Google Frogs transitioned into Thunderbirds. Oh, which stunned so that works perfectly at the same time. Jump bot into Magman and Cuba's base, but four pyros coming in here. That will get rid of the oh mechs. It's fine. Like, get rid of those mechs. Well, it's finally. But it does get rid of the actually get rid of their factories. Here's what Aquanim and yeah, Google Frog are thinking is that Aquanim, sorry, it's Aquanim's pyros. And I can start thinking, finally getting rid of those mechs. There, the there goes Jumpbot Factory. There goes, wow, the entire base. That was a really excellent attack. Because yeah. they both transitioned out of, one's transitioned out of air into land, and the other transitioned out of land if into air. And those three constructors is basically over. Yeah. And it looks like nice. they're going down. Yeah, all three go down. That was really well done by Aquanim. He snuck perfectly around the, the, the back through the defenses. Jumped over and then did a really good split with his pyros to take out they everything. Keep going. This, this entire area is undefended. That I can. Cuba yes. and Magma are entirely dependent on a front line. He's leaving two pyros behind on the high ground just so that nothing can rebuild. Because that is to, clever. To, I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Well, Although, his commander as well. Oh, yeah, this is game over. Oh, that's Magma's commander. Yeah, sheesh. Yeah, it's that. It's the back switches, both of them. Both of the facts, the facts they switched into. One was uh, for Thunderbirds, which were really good against shields, and um, the other was jump the other bots, one was which for was exactly jump was necessary. Given that there was no because he did not expect an attack from that angle. No, I mean, really, I don't know why they didn't just build a Lotus there, like further up front, but just as a matter of principle. Like yeah, um, QB and Magman are now trying to attack into the base with spiders, but there's just too much defense there. Yeah. And, the, and Aquanim still has his, his commander there too, which is already morphed to level 1, so he can take a lot of damage. Not level to mention two. the Brawler over the base. Level 2 now, actually. But yeah, and the Brawler yeah, just is finished just level doing two. general defense work. Oh, well, unfortunately the Pyros did die. Oh, since they... I'm saying unfortunately. Giving value judgments on these things. The Pyros died. What's sad Aquanim. for the Pyros? That's true. Unfortunately for the Pyros, it's dead. And of course, it's but, not um, here to regret that. QB's commander is looking to be sniped in the middle oh. as well. <laughs> and there's heaps oh, of Oh, yeah, well, it's dead. Well. There's the Ravens coming in here, and one of them goes off because of need to attack, and the other two, that's the commander. And the Brawler takes out the Metal Extractor, and from there, it's just Glaives sweeping through the rest of it. And this is basically game. Yeah, it is, in fact, 2 0 for the amphibious team, as Sprung just puts it. The Aqua Frog. Yeah, Aqua, Aqua Google team. There's the Aqua Frog. <laughs> oh, the Frog, Frog, Aqua Frog. Excuse me, Google is not a watery term. Aqua Google. Oh. Well, that. Aqua Frog. Yeah, that definitely worked. I mean, that was perfect. That was perfect play there. Like you said, just especially the shield ball thing there. I mean, the shield balls were there, but it was a good. The timing in it was very nice. And then you have, I think the pyro, however, was just that was good initiative. It was great to see Aquanim basically swing the game. I mean, the the Stellar was great, but the Brawler, which was Aquanim's, is the one that really defended well against the um, uh, little shield ball push-up that we ran. Mm -hmm. And then Aquanim just perfectly executed Pirate Push, which just, from an even game, turned it completely in their favor. Yeah, and it's just, I guess it's, well, it's kind of nice because some of the people in chat were pointing out, like, man, it feels like Aquanim is being piloted rather than being played with as a teammate. And... It's kind of nice to see it actually working out in something that... Oh, we're playing Banana Valley now. It's it's working out into something that seems like Aquanim is getting a bit more confidence. I mean, Google Frog might have mentioned to build the Jump Bot Factory, but I doubt that everything was written out. Oh, maybe it was. Yeah. I don't know. He explicitly he, he instructed how, you know, drew the lines to show exactly where, which is really nice, a uh, really nice feature that... Um, you can teach him that way, because mm -hmm. that's what you need to do with the blast wing. Oh, um, these are sorry, yeah, back. white. To, sorry for those of you wondering, white is spectator lines, and everything is cyan is Google Frog. So, mm -hmm. Google Frog might have put a marker here saying, "Oh yeah, by the way, this is a good place to jump," but didn't direct as much as the blast wings. The blast wings were definitely directed, whereas this is more just yeah. suggested, I suppose. But hey, it yeah, works. it was it, it it was it was great to see them. Uh, yeah, to. Aquanim doing most of the work there. Yeah. All right. Well, that is going to be game two.
And, well, yeah. We'll see how it works in game three, but, well, I don't know. I mean, Magma and Cubay are kind of playing more trolly than they are playing seriously. And as I mentioned before, Cubay mm -hmm. does work better playing seriously. I think that last game, I mean, that, that was... That was a pretty serious game, uh, I suppose. Sort of yeah. serious, yeah. I mean, there was nothing really too cheesy about that. In fact, Google Fire Aquin were doing more of the cheesy stuff than Magman and Cube. Yeah, it was more unconventional strategies, and it was not it was not cheesy at the start of the game, but it was more they thinking about like they thinking of kill strategies. A lot of the time, you think about you know you just get territory control, you get Pokemon control, you trade well with your armies, and you win that way. Mm. Or they're thinking like, how can I completely destroy their base, and I'll win by completely destroying the base. And how can I completely, you know, yeah. snipe their commanders? And yeah, but the map played a good role in it as well. Because well. mm. the base is so self-contained and it's so well defended yeah. by natural barriers that you don't so, generally put as much defenses in it. 